hello everyone you are welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial i'll be explaining to you in details the reason why your liquid soap might become watery even when you follow the deal process when making it so if today is your first time of coming across my channel you are welcome please do well to hit the subscribe button so the first reason is wrong chemical measurement now this wrong chemical measurement might actually not be your fault it might be from where you are getting your chemical from now take a look at this this is my texapon so i sent to my chemical supplier that i needed 800 grams of texapon but this is what i have after i got my chemical so but now assuming i don't have this key to measure it out i would have gone ahead to use this for um what i want to use it for assuming it is 800 grams and I told her I also needed SLS um, three um, 500 grams and this is what I have 318 so it is inaccurate now I was able to get this because I have this um, digital scale on my own so I used to measure my chemical before I go ahead I don't just assume it is complete so I would advise you to always make sure that your chemical measurement is complete I actually wanted to use this tool for production of 20 liters but as it is I cannot go ahead except I want the soap to be watery so make sure that your chemical measurements are always right. Most of these chemical stores, they don't, they won't want you to see what they are measuring for you. Like, I don't really understand what they are hiding, but you have to like um, take your ground because you are paying for it. And if your chemicals are not complete, it will surely affect your outcome. And the second one is the usage of fake or expired chemicals. Yes, these chemicals we have them in different brands. We have fake. Um, we have fake sulfonic acid yes i've seen it before we have fake um pko yes then i've seen fake texapon before i'll actually make a video on how to identify a fake texapon kindly watch out for that so there are so many fake chemicals even colors that's why some color after a week or two it will start fading and some of them might not be fake but they are expired like they've overstayed but those chemical suppliers might not want to throw them away they want to sell them like they want to make their gain and some of these chemicals are being exposed to air like when you get to their shop you see the um, chemicals inside the sack the mouth will just be open free to air so some of these chemicals have lost their potency so they will not be effective when you use them so watch out for where you are getting your chemicals another thing is exposing your liquid soap to direct sunlight or any source of heat your liquid soap doesn't need heat or um, sunlight Please make sure you um, store your liquid soap in a cool, dry environment. Don't store it close to maybe where you are cooking or where they are boiling. No, it will affect your liquid soap. Like all those chemicals that bind together to form the liquid soap, they will lose in up and it will become watery. The same thing goes to um, direct sunlight. So don't expose your liquid soap. So that um, another point is addition of color or fragrance directly to your soap. I know some people might be like, I've been adding it since ages and nothing is happening. Well, you might just be lucky. But sometimes it is better to, dis to be safe than to be sorry. So now, it is advisable for you to scoop out a little portion from your production, add your color and your um, perfume to it. Mix it very well before adding it to your main production. Now, these colors and this perfume are different products. So you might not be lucky to get a product that is mild to your liquid soap now for the color i know we have two different products we have the one that we call the china type and we have the one that we call the korea type but physically you cannot identify them so it is better to just follow the normal procedure to save yourself of ad i know please if you have yet to subscribe to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and put on your notification bell and to my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. Another thing is using hot and not properly dissolved chemicals. So whenever you want to make liquid soap, please don't be in a hurry. I always advise you to soak your chemicals ahead. This is being um, soaking my caustic soda. You see this caustic soda, after adding it to the water, just use your hand to fill the um, outside body of that container. You will see how hot it is. So if you seem to be in a hurry and you add it, you know, you don't allow it to dissolve or cool down. It is number one, it will fry your liquid soap. Number two, the things that are supposed to like you no know, combine together to make your liquid soap come out very smooth, no issue, it will not come out that way. So when it comes out, you'll be blaming yourself or you will even be wondering what have I done wrong. 
So please soak the chemicals that need to be soaked ahead, except maybe when the formulation you are making requires hot chemical, like the semi hot um, process bar soap. Another thing is that inappropriate mixing at each step. Please, when you add each chemical, try as much as possible to mix very well. Don't be in a hurry. It will affect your outcome. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. Please don't forget to like and share this video with all your loved ones. So this is me still mixing. Please don't get tired. If you know you don't have the strength, get a mixer. I hope you have learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. If you have any question, drop it at the comment section. Don't forget to like, share this video with your loved ones. See you in my next video. Bye.